Hi, hi, y'all. Hope you're all doing amazing. My name is Foveth, and welcome to my life. I want to give a big shout out to those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And you hasn't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe, like, and leave your comments. Please hit that notification bell so whenever I post, you guys can support me. Please, I'll appreciate that. So let's get into it. This is sugar, six tablespoons of sugar. I will use two eggs. To, is it medium eggs? Yes, three tablespoons of butter. Yes, then my yeast, I'll use two teaspoons of yeast. Then I'll use uh, vanilla essence, two, two teaspoons. Yeah, then I'll, I'll use like a quarter of salt, then uh, one glass of lukewarm it look one more uh, milk than all purpose flour those are all my ingredients so let's start the process I'll show you process by process guys so now I'll break my two eggs like I showed you wet actually this time I'll mix everything all together normally I'll wait for my yeast and mil I'll mix yeast and milk then I leave my yeast to, ri to rise but this time I'm not going to do that the main reason of doing that is to make sure your yeast can rise but this time I'm not going to wait for that okay I'll just mix everything together so as you can see this is a salt last year This is all the best twist then uh, now put my my all purpose fly here. Then uh, after I do that I'm going to use my hands to mix everything to make sure my dough is ready. Actually this mixture is too like too soft. I don't always measure my flour because I maybe i can say maybe i haven't uh whenever i'm going to make this i make sure i have enough flour and i know like if the measurements of liquid that i need so uh, for a certain period is for a certain you know flour so that's why i don't even measure my flour honestly but i i actually use two cups of flour like that but this mixture is very very soft like soft i don't know maybe it's because i used my my butter like this i normally melt my butter then mix it with all the wet ingredients but this time i want to do something different i'll mix i've mixed my dough after making working my dough then i put this uh my butter because it was well soft and melted normally when it is uh, from the fridge direct i have to melt it in the microwave so by this time it was too soft so it tempted me to use it just like this but my dough is very very soft so i had to add some some flour so that's why i'm telling you guys i I don't know the measurements of my flour that's that's all that's all I can say but make sure you have enough flour so that when your dough is this soft you can be able to add in it has no problem okay so you can see I'm adding more flour so that I get the you know the dough I need because this this was very very soft even when I finished it was still soft but I had to, to leave it at that anyways so how are you guys make sure you subscribe guys subscribe and support me please 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 yeah now I'm done with my dough I, I'm rubbing some some oil on it so I can leave it to rest I'll leave it to rest for one hour then after one hour I come and you know I cut, I, I do my donut, I make my donuts. Okay. And 
I couldn't film the rising. I, I already pushed it down. Uh, so I'll tell you, it was it has been a very busy day. So I just didn't show you guys that. But you can see my door is well done. Can you see that, guys? It is all soft. And it's perfect for my soft donuts, guys. So like this, <laughs> it has some hair somewhere. <laughs> so I'm cutting this into two pieces so I can get enough space to roll my donuts, to roll and cut my donuts out. So this is it. I would actually this this video is is uh, is I, I is edited of course because I can't put you through all that stress or all everything everything I do I just want you I show you the main thing so I don't waste your time you know many people don't like watching long I feel like also me I don't like watching long videos I like simple and precise videos so guys make sure you support me and let me help me keep going <laughs> Uh, help me keep going support me don't leave without subscribing please so this is how i cut my donuts out now i'm done i'm getting ready my oil is all perfect and ready make sure you always cook this on medium medium heat because if you cook it on high heat it will burn your your donuts and you'll not like it okay even so even the inside won't be cooked so well so and guys i want to give you one tip if you make these donuts don't uh, leave them you know outside so they can you know they can easily go bad within one uh, three days four days they won't be good but if you want to eat a fresh donut every day i guarantee you do this put them in your freezer uh, set your microwave in one minute and 10 seconds then you will enjoy a fresh donut and so guys i want to give a very big shout out to my new subscribers my old subscribers my viewers Thank you so much. Please, if you're viewing my videos, please make sure you don't go without subscribing. Please, please, please. I beg you. You keep me moving when you subscribe, okay? Please support me. That is very helpful. Thank you all. So, guys, if you like coated donuts, cinnamon, try cinnamon and sugar. It is the best, guys. So look at these beauties, yay!